Gentlemen, if you are looking to settle down, to find the woman that you want to spend the rest of your life with, that will stay by your side when things get tough, when you're old and wrinkly, yet make you laugh and make you feel like you're 25 again, you and I both know that that's not going to be easy. There are going to be plenty of women that will cross your path that might be the one, but is she the one? And ladies, for the inside scoop, you're going to want to watch this video, so stay tuned. Hey guys, it's Brian back at you with another video where my goal is to mentor you to a rewarding career and to help you create a life you're proud of. And in that endeavor in creating a life you're proud of, I want to talk about relationships. More specifically, how to tell if that girl is the one for you. Will she be the one that will carry your name, be the mother of your children, to be the love of your life till death do you part? And I can say in my personal experience, that I was in a situation where my single life was pretty good. I had a great circle of friends, a loving family, and a great career. And on top of that, I was going out on weekends, meeting new people, going out on dates. I felt I was in a place in my life where things are great, where I was complete, mature, secure on my own. And that meant two things. Number one, that I'm ready to settle down, to get married, to start a family, to start a new chapter in my life. And number two, that I would only do that should I meet the right person for me and to never settle, even if that meant me being single or on my own in my 50s, 60s, or even longer. But it didn't mean that I was following these rules blindly. There was a mindset, a method to all of this, and that meant that I can choose who I want to be with. There was no pressure from myself to settle down, to get married, to have kids, because I knew the importance of choosing wisely. And it's crazy, guys spend so much time going on review sites, watching YouTube videos, doing all this research on the internet to find out what their next cell phone will be, to see if Android or iOS is better for them. They spend way more time doing that than trying to figure out whether the woman that is currently in their life is the right one for them. And it seems like a lot of men just married out of comfort. Sure, she has flaws, they say, but no one's perfect, right? It was really a marriage driven by a lack of desire to get back into the dating pool. Or it was the right thing to do. I'm getting too, too old, old for this, so, so it, was it was the right time, time to get married. But no one ever takes a moment to figure out whether it's the right person. It's no wonder why the divorce rate is what it is. And with everything, we all know that the more you put into it, the more you get out of it. So if you make no effort to select for the right person, then chances are you're going to get a pretty crappy relationship out of it. How do you select for the right person? Well, it comes down to three key signs to look for. And guys, if you find a woman that nails these three things, what are you waiting for? Pull the trigger already. Here are the three signs that she's the one for you. Are you ready? Number one, she has to be giving. Your future wife has to be giving in her nature. She does things to make you happy. She wants to see you happy and so she does things to make you feel good. And because she is so awesome, you want to reciprocate that. So you end up doing all these amazing things for her as well. So you end up doing the little things and the big things to make her feel like she's the most important woman in the world. And it's this positive feedback loop that is absolutely essential in a loving, healthy, strong relationship. Number two, she has to have a positive attitude and a positive outlook on life. She's happy, she smiles, she brings joy to her family, to your family, to her friends, and to her co-workers. She's well liked by others and she sees the positives and opportunities even when challenges occur. Top of all of that, she treats others with respect, she doesn't insult other people, she doesn't take advantage of other people, and she doesn't judge others. And just as important, she pulls you up instead of holds you down. She makes you a better person instead of holding you back. And it's her positive attitude that really helps you get past those difficult times when your dog passes away, when your company lays you off, or when the Canucks don't win the cup again. Sign number three, she has to be flexible. She has to be open to alternative solutions, to going with the flow, to rescheduling, to seeing how a win-win can be discovered. For example, if you can't go out on a Tuesday, she's okay with a Thursday. If you can't text her back right away, she won't think that you're ignoring her. Or if her family and your family double booked you, the two of you will figure out a way to get your 
quality time with both families in. And that's it. Make sure she's flexible, she's giving, and she's got a positive attitude. Sounds pretty simple enough, but if you think about it, if any one of those pieces are missing, well, my friend, you've got a pretty nasty situation ahead of you. A woman can be flexible and giving, but if she's got a bad attitude, chances are when you guys are fighting, it's going to get really, really nasty. She might judge you, she might judge your friends, she might put you down as well. Or maybe she's got a great attitude and she is very flexible, but she's not much of a giver. And that might mean to you that you get no affection, no attention, and she might create this dynamic of you owe me every time she does something for you. Yes, I know the examples are very simplistic, but the principles still apply. Now I should say that there are two assumptions to all of this. She has to be older than 25 years of age. I mean, anyone younger than 25 just doesn't have her emotional stuff together that is needed for a serious long-term marriage. And the second assumption is that you've been with this person for at least one and a half to two years and that's when you can really do a proper assessment to see if she meets these three key traits because the first year or a bit of a relationship you're in your honeymoon stage. There are all these emotions running high. You don't really get an accurate picture of the person until you spend at least one and a half to two years of time with them. So there you go, guys. Three signs to tell if she is the one for you. Now, I get the sneaking suspicion that some of you viewers, ladies and gentlemen, might feel that what I've said is a little bit too stereotypical overgeneralizing, too simplistic, and perhaps a little bit insulting. You know what, I can kind of understand that, but that is definitely not my intention here. And before you end up sending me your comments or your emails, I encourage you to watch my other video on three signs that he's the one for you. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss that video. And the other thing I have to mention is that it's absolutely crucial that the man works on himself so that he is a complete person who's secure, who's mature, who is happy on his own. So there you go, I hope you enjoyed the information today. If you liked the video, please hit that thumbs up button. If you really liked it, I always appreciate if you hit that share button. I'm here to help you create a life you're proud of and having a long-term healthy relationship is an essential piece of that puzzle. So if you have a question about this video or if you have a question that you want me to tackle in a future video, go to my website, 11mentoring.com, fire me an email that way, or just leave a comment down below. Guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.